what's going on so um this uh this story here um i wanted to i wanted to speak on um bear with me and i'm going to be reading from this uh from this article it's not that long and i'm also going to put it in the description box um so yeah here we go uh state police investigating officer involved shooting death in uh Maymaw, uh deputy injured in altercation okay um and Evangeline Perry Sheriff Deputy shot and killed Dewan Guillory on Chad Lane in Maymouth Thursday, uh, July 6, 2017. So this was yesterday. This was yesterday. Okay. Um, a 27-year-old Maymouth man died early Wednesday in an uh, officer-involved shooting. Um, involving an Evangeline Parrish Sheriff's uh, off, uh, deputy, according to Louisiana State Police. The State Police Bureau of Investigation Lafayette Field Office was alerted at uh, 4.10 a.m. to the uh, shooting and was asked by the Evangeline Sheriff's Office to investigate Master Trooper Daniel Scott Murrow, uh, said in uh, a news release. The deputy had been responding to an attempted burglary in the area of Chad Lane when he encountered Dewan Guillory. Uh, during an ensuing altercation between Guillory and the deputy, Guillory was shot. Um, Guillory was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, the deputy who was injured during the altercation was transported to a local hospital where he was listed Thursday in stable condition. Uh, Morrow said the uh, deputy's uh, identity has not been released. And you know why that is. Uh, state police reported later Thursday they arrested uh, what is that, DeQuincy Brown 21 of Church Point. Brown who was with Guillory during the incident was booked into Evangelina Paris jail on attempted first degree murder of a police officer. Uh, KTC TV is reporting that Guillory had been arrested in 2015, accused of stealing an ATM with a back hole from Citizens Bank in May Mall and firing a gun at a responding deputy's patrol car. At the time, police said they found 12 shell casings from an AR-15 assault rifle near the backhoe. Guillory was charged with the theft of the backhoe, attempted murder, aggravated criminal damage to property, and felony theft in that case. In December 2016, he entered a no-contest plea uh, to uh, simple criminal damage to property and was sentenced to 10 years in prison with five years uh, with five years suspended um, he was to serve five years probation following his sentence uh, the remaining charges were dismissed uh, the the State Department of Corrections could provide could not provide details Thursday regarding Guillory's sentence uh, District Attorney Trent Brignac was not in his office and did not return a phone message left on his cell phone. So, the first thing that I have to address about this whole situation is... None of us know what really happened okay and our conservative minded uh brothers and sisters um in opposition 
will automatically side with the police based on the background of the victim. The background given concerning the victim. Um, in, in a situation like this, his background should mean shit to the investigation. Okay? That's number one. Number two. This is this is something that they always do. Only with black criminal suspects, perpetrators. They only do this with black people. Whenever there is a a police killing, they always bring up that black person's past. What that person uh, to to try to say that this is that person's nature. This is that black person's character. This is their nature. And the officer was um, supposed to. He had every right to kill this black person because this black person was a nuisance to society or a threat to society or some kind of um, waste of life in society. So, just like every other situation involving black people, there's not going to be any justice given for this brother. And a lot of people, our conservative-minded opposition and brothers and sisters, they feel that They feel that actions like this are necessary and actions like this that are taken by police officers makes this country safe. Well, going to the situation of that night, so-called responding to a burglary, right? Right out the gate. Right out the gate. See, this is the problem when they try to give background information concerning the black person that the officer killed. That when that officer arrived to the scene, that brother may have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or may have been in the right place but at during the wrong time he was autom- he was automatically as soon as he was seen he was judged based on his past and this is what always goes on with black men in our community with black men in our community they are automatically judged based on if they committed a crime based on that crime that they committed in the past them trying to get themselves together doesn't mean anything um them trying to you know start a new life um try to go life a different route or just staying out of trouble period they don't care about it they don't take any of that into consideration And they're automatically suspected as the suspect that they are that they received the call for and they shoot on sight. There was no altercation between them. I don't think that there was because you're you 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 already you already this is this is the thing now. 
this is why they should have kept all that past shit to they self. They should have never even addressed all that. But it actually works out for us because we can look at this situation and know that it's bullshit just off of the strength of his past convictions. What he had, what he was serving time for. He was on probation. Niggas already know when they on probation, it's only so much that they can do. And they not finna rob shit. They not finna kill shit. They not finna, they not, they not finna get into it with they baby mama because they know they baby mama finna, you know what I'm saying? You know, for, for many of those brothers who go through that. But this brother was not finna jeopardize his freedom behind breaking into somebody's house. You see what I'm saying? Yes. He may have done what he was uh, convicted of. You know what I'm saying? They they found the shit, you know what I'm saying, that he had stole. You know, I don't know how the hell he's still an ATM, but, you know, he, they say he stole it, probably did. Cool. If, if, if you know, if that's, if that's what he was accused of, then that would that would indeed makes make him suspect. But to any anybody, this this video is mainly for people who support Blue Lives Matter. And and let me and let me speak on this right quick. And I'm gonna always say this whenever I talk about police shootings. How in the fuck can you say that? Your people, white people, are killed more. Your race of people are killed more by police officers than black people. How can you say that when, check this out, you support Blue Lives Matter, you created Blue Lives Matter. Why create it and support it if they are killing you? More than they are killing us. Y'all full of shit. And y'all know this. But. This brother. This whole story man. Is bullshit. It's bullshit. Because. There's no way a brother. You know what I'm saying. Yeah you got some knuckleheads. But. I don't know if y'all seen the brother's pictures. I, I should have found one to um, to put on this video. But the brother has two kids. Two kids. I mean, this brother is not just any kind of, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, look at his kids, the pictures with his kids. He's happy with his kids. Why would you throw all that away? You see what I'm saying? That's not something that, I mean, the demeanor of this brother, I, you know, it's, it's just not, it's not plausible. There's no fucking way that this guy could be, or look, he didn't have to lose his life behind this. Here's the thing. We can keep talking about police killings. We can keep talking about police brutality and things like that until we go to our city council. And those persons in charge, those persons who could get the job done until we bring forth our case about um, police reform there's nothing that's going to be done marching is not going to do it protesting in any type of fashion is not going to do it because we have been marching and protesting since Trayvon Martin They have not listened to us. There's only two 
ways that the government, the system, the white man is going to listen to us. One way is going to the right people and making our voice known, laying out a list of demands concerning police reform. Or we can have a situation like our brother Alexander Bonds, rest in power, Michael Johnson, Gavin Long, and Kareem Gaines. Who took it upon themselves that enough was enough and this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to handle the shit. Now, black people who are in the middle and don't know what to do. I'm telling you now, they don't want to hear us. We can try it, but going to city council, we've been doing that since before Martin Luther King. We've been doing that. They want us to go the Gavin Long Alexander Bonds, um, Kareem Gaines, and Michael Johnson. They want us to go that route. Just so that they can have an excuse to implement full throttle, full force, what is already going on covertly, overtly, martial law. Martial law is already going on, but they're hiding it under different types of rules, regulations, stipulations, coincidences, situations. This is why police are getting off. And I want to add this last thing in here because this video is being uploaded before the other video that I spoke on concerning Alexander Bonds. Black police officers um, are not as respected or not respected at all by their department that they work for. They are tokens for two things. They're a token for the system and then they're a token for us. Black people, the black community. In the first aspect in the first aspect they are bear with me in the first aspect they are a token to the department itself as a false notion or false image that black people are equal in this society as well. That is so far from the truth. That is so far from the truth. When uh, before I get to that, the second as far as us, as far as we are concerned, they are a token on the department as a means of prolonging the inevitable, which is the in-your-face martial law. 
the we're not hiding it anymore martial law. They're prolonging that because there are some black police officers who very well may try to teach us how to defend ourselves in the um, the times to come, so to speak. Try to warn us of those things that will happen or whatever and try to train us. You see what I'm saying? Um, and they can't have someone who's suspect. You see what I'm saying? So when it comes to the Hispanic, the Asian, and the white officers, they don't really have to worry about them because those really aren't their primary targets. I mean, Hispanics are. But when we look at people like Geronimo Yanez and other Hispanic police officers who have killed African Americans um, and have got off, you know, it makes it makes us as a community have to look at the Hispanic community, you know, and it's what, and it's what I say all the time that whether you're Jew, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, you got white skin, you got the European mind where you perceive reality the way that the European does, you are a European as well. You're no different from them. And there's, and there's no telling what's going on between um, Trump or anybody in government. You know, not necessarily Trump, but anybody in government who has power. We don't know what they're talking to the government in Mexico or the or the government in um yeah so that's really um all that I had to say con- concerning concerning this uh situation man the brother is um it's a it's a sad it's a sad situation. It's 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 fucked up that it had to go down the way that it went down. Um but we know that there's not gonna be any justice done about this. We're getting closer and closer to a time where there just may very well be a race war. There just may be. I mean we can't rule it out. We can't we can't one hundred percent rule it out, you know, because we have our radical blacks who um who just ain't taking this shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna.